Hello everyone, I am Ajay and welcome back to our YouTube channel that is Dextrose Technologies Private Limited. Today I am going to talk about good laboratory practices that are also known as GLPs. GLPs are basically incorporated into the lab to maintain the quality of the lab and also whatever techniques, studies we carry out, it should be on the standards and it should be performed in a very proper way. So that's why GLPs are very very important in a laboratory system. So today mostly I am going to talk about how a personal should be dressed up in a laboratory. So before entering a laboratory, you should have a clean apron, you should have a pair of gloves, you should have a face mask and a headgear. So you should wear the apron properly. Aprons are usually wear so that you should not face any kind of uh, spillage on you directly. Direct body contacts, it won't happen if you wear a proper apron. So this is how you should wear it. Make sure that you close all the buttons of your apron properly. Next comes your face mask. So you should wear your face marks. Then comes your headgear. So this is how you should open this. And this is how you should wear it properly according to Make sure that your hairs are not coming out and then you have to wear gloves. Yes, so this is how fully you should be Wearing a lab coat, you should have a face mask, headgear and a pair of gloves. So this is how you should be dressed up in a laboratory with your lab sleepers. So now I'll show you how to arrange the chemicals inside the laboratory. So this is how you should arrange the chemicals inside a laboratory in an alphabetical order and all the solvents should be placed at the lower racks. So this should be the arrangement of the chemicals and the solvents in a laboratory. Another important aspect is we should not eat and drink inside the laboratory because in a laboratory we are dealing with a lot of pathogenic organisms, we are carrying out different kind of tests, we are using acids and all, so it can affect our health, so it may cause personal harm. So we should avoid eating and drinking inside the laboratories. Another point to remember is you should always label the chemicals which you are using for your projects or experiments. Make sure you are not eating, drinking or smelling any kind of chemicals which is present inside the laboratory. And for more such videos, do like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Dextrose Technologies Private Limited. Thank you.